I started looking in a lot of old uh, books uh, written during that period, and I found in passing a mention that uh, a young man named Roald Dahl and David Ogilvy were propagandists and agents of influence for the British, and that they shared a townhouse in Georgetown. And my immediate reaction was, there had to be a story there. I think as a country, we're very naive about uh, uh, intelligence services. As a democracy, much of what uh, the Secret Service does uh, it seems to us counter our principles of fair play and uh, individual rights. But we have to understand that we need a strong intelligence agency to safeguard democracy. And I think the book is a perfect demonstration of what it meant for this country that we had no good intelligence service, that we allowed ourselves at the brink of World War II possibly to be pushed into war, uh, tricked into war, if you want to say it that way, and, uh, and allowed foreign agents, uh, foreign intelligence services, and super uh, lobbyists to uh, manipulate our political establishment and our press. And I think if you look carefully at what's going on today, that should sound alarmingly familiar. And uh, we found ourselves just recently in a situation where our press uh, was possibly manipulated by foreign intelligence. We were possibly pushed into a war. And uh, we found ourselves with a very weak intelligence service and at the mercy of our allies for information. So I think that uh, much can be learned by looking at the lessons of World War II.